Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight In the two years that I've been doing this YouTube channel, you know, it goes for everyone. You always make mistakes. You always have bad takes that come out of the way and bite you in the ass. And let's just say a trade that happened a year ago today did just that. What's going on, guys? Dory Dice 7 here back again with another video. And today, we're going to look at a big trade that had a lot of chain reaction to it. A lot of videos that were made on the channel about it. And we're going to look back on it. We're going to look at the history, look at how wrong I was, the trade, how it turned out, how the players are doing now, and everything else. So if you're new to the channel and haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do so as we are just, you know, we're rolling. I mean, if you could subscribe, watch the video, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know your thoughts. Really, really would appreciate it. So anyways, I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get into that video. Now, for our first episode in the Looking Back series, we're going to look at two teams who traded pending UFAs to each other at the time. They both signed their contracts, and they both played with their respected teams. We're going to look at the Max Domi and Josh Anderson trade. But first off, we got to look at what these guys' stats were in the 2019-20 season. Some notes to take in with this. It was not a full season, obviously. I mean, everyone knew that. And um, yeah, here we go. That was really all I had to say. Uh, we're going to go through Domi first because Anderson has his own story to him. Uh, Domi played 71 games in 2019-20, had 17 goals, 27 assists for 44 points. He's pretty capable of a 20-goal mark. He probably would have hit that 20-goal mark if we did have a full 82-game schedule, but then COVID said, hello, what's up? So yeah, Domi's a very solid 20-goal scorer. You can get 50 points at max, a solid second, third-line center, honestly. And as for Josh Anderson, it was not a good season. Anderson played part of the season injured, which was a big problem in his points. Uh, he played 26 games, had one goal, three assists, and only four points. Yeah, that, that doesn't look too good on Montreal's end when you're making that trade. And that's exactly what I thought. But Anderson, he can be a solid goal scorer. He scored 30, 27 goals in the past before. I think he can do it again. It was, de it was definitely possible at the time. But since, it, but since he got injured in that time, people didn't like the trade. Now, with all the stuff talking about last season out of the way, let's get into the trade breakdown. The Columbus Blue Jackets acquired Max Domi and a 2020 third, which turned to be defenseman Samuel Kaznok. A little bit of background on that third round pick that they acquired. Um, Samuel turned into be somewhat of a solid defenseman. He's not made his debut with the Blue Jackets yet. But in 2019-20, his draft year with Slovakia, he had 20 games played, 3 goals, 5 assists, 8 points. So not too bad as a defensive defenseman. But in 2020-2021, he played with TPSU 20, had 23 games played, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. So better statistics. And from some observations I've seen, sorry, I don't know what my mouth did there. Uh, with some observations I've seen, I've seen that he's an offensive defenseman, but he's not putting up the stats. So, that doesn't look too good. And then, of course, the Montreal Canadiens got on the other end, Josh Anderson. Now, my dumbass a year ago said that Columbus got a fleece. I'm going to roll the clip. By the way, I was using Photo Booth because iMovie was down at the time. Strange. First off, we have a trade. And um, it's between the Montreal Canadiens and the Columbus Blue Jackets. To be, and to be honest with you, um... Uh, it's just disappointing. It's, it's, it, Columbus really, Columbus really robbed him. That wasn't the only time I looked dumb. Now, of course, as I said, both of these players were pending UFA, so they had to get signed to contracts. Max Domi's deal came first at a two-year, $10 million overall contract. So I think if you estimate that out, that's out to $5 million a year. Basic math. Um, but yeah, that was his contract. And I honestly looked at it, not too bad. Guy scoring 20 goals, getting 50 points on average. I think that can be fairly solid in all honesty. So that's a good contract. And then Josh Anderson happened. Okay, okay. Now the only reason why I said this deal was bad was because I thought that the last season that Josh Anderson had with the one goal, four points, was his rookie year. I thought it was his rookie year. I looked at the wrong statistics. I did not know he was playing since 2014. He got signed to a seven-year 
$38 million contract, which caused a lot of controversy for me on YouTube. Now, the video that I made reacting to the contract, you're gonna get some nostalgia as I post it on the screen because it looks, my the setup looks nothing like it does now, but it has 435 views, which at the time was pretty good for me, and it had 19 likes and 7 dislikes. Now, if you know me, I don't usually have a lot of dislikes on my videos, at the time at least, until Matt started disliking my videos for a joke. And yeah, when I got a dislike ratio, not good. So as time rolled on, I kind of forgot about the trade a little bit. I'm just going to say that. And I was like, you know what? I could still be right. The contract could look still look stupid. And Domi could be better. I, I, honestly... They were kind of the same. Last season with his brand new team, a healthy Josh Anderson, by the way, put up an outstanding 17 goals in a shortened season and 7 assists for 24 points. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but 17 goals in a shortened season, and he was injured for a little bit there. I'm not going to deny that. He was out with some illnesses. He was either scratched, you know, out of the lineup. One of those things happened. So obviously that's a pretty good statistic to put up in all honesty. And Domi... He kind of did the same thing, but the other way around. He scored 9 goals, 15 assists for 24 points with his brand new Columbus Blue Jackets team. Obviously, the Blue Jackets were a rebuilding team towards the bottom of the division, and the Canadians were around the middle of the pack, 4th, 5th at times, sometimes 3rd. They were kind of in that area, so you do have to put that factor in. Now, you see, the part where I looked really stupid was the playoffs, and the playoffs was generally really stupid for me. Josh Anderson was... This doesn't look like a big statistic, five goals, one assist for six points in the playoffs overall, but Anderson was incredibly clutch for Montreal. He was scoring the goals that he had to at the right time. He scored a lot against Montreal, he scored a little bit of against Winnipeg, and then the most notable goal out of all that was the Game 4 overtime winner in the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, in the Stanley Cup Finals. So by the way, if you, if you didn't catch on already, Montreal made it to the Cup Finals. And where was Domi, you ask? Oh, nowhere to be seen at all. Down way farther. Down to Detroit level bad last season. Yeah, Blue, Blue Jackets were not good. And um, Domi is currently out with an injury. He's been suffering that this offseason. And it looks like he's really, honestly, at this point, he's probably one of the best offensive players on this Blue Jackets team at this point. So there you go. This concludes our first episode of Looking Back at Trades that I covered on the channel where I either looked like a dumbass or I looked like a genius. In this one, dumbass one, genius zero. So thank you all for watching for us presently. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, the support's been unreal lately. We're going to keep this going throughout the whole season. It's been really consistent lately. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Let me know what you guys want in the comments below. Let me know any video ideas, any trades that I should cover that I covered on the channel at the time, of course. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching for us presently. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.